UCLA softball is the most decorated softball program in NCAA history with the most national titles. Can you possibly imagine what an all-time roster for this powerhouse program would look like? I'm Michaela Chester for NCAA.com and today I'm going to give you just that. One of the most difficult things to put together with triple the amount of deserving players than spots on the list. First up at first base, Taraya Mims. She spent some time at third base and behind the plate as well, but she will be the first baseman and primarily because of her power at the plate. Mims finished her career with 61 home runs and 228 RBIs. That's third all-time in home runs and RBIs at UCLA. She also finished sixth in all-time hits, third in doubles, fourth in slugging, the list goes on and on. Caitlin Banny is the second baseman, a three-time All-American and two-time national champion in 2003 and 2004. She led all of D1 with 24 home runs during the 2004 season and led the team in average run, hits, and homers in that championship year. Let's move on to third, and this one was tough. Jennifer Brundage, Janice Parks, Andrea Duran, Mims, Stephanie LaRosa, they're all insanely good, and they all play third base at some point in time at UCLA. I did some shuffling around and went with Janice Parks here. Parks played from 1987 to 89, won two national championships, was a three-time first-team All-American, and won the prestigious Honda Award in 89. Brundage has some similar accolades, so it was a really hard choice. But Parks was a powerhouse third baseman, the best player in the country during her time, and a UCLA Hall of Famer. Shortstop is next, and you might know who this one is, UCLA fans. Natasha Watley. There are some other shortstop legends like Dot Richardson, but Watley wasn't a doubt for this spot. She was a four-time first-team All-American and finds her name at the top of UCLA offensive charts in hits, runs scored, at-bats, triples, and stolen bases. Watley was named the Honda Award winner for softball at the end of her senior season in 2003, and then went on to win the Honda Broderick Cup presented to the nation's top collegiate female athlete. Watley then went on to win a few Olympic medals, came back to UCLA to coach, and can be found in the school's Hall of Fame. So who is behind the plate? This one was a no-brainer as well. It's Stacy Newfman, one of the greatest Bruins in history and greatest sluggers. Take a look at UCLA's all-time records list, and I can guarantee you, you won't miss Newfman. The four-time first-team All-American and three-time Olympian is number one in career home runs by a landslide with 90. She's first in RBIs, total bases, slugging, walks, on-base percentage, and hitting with a 466 career average. Stephanie LaRosa takes the spot for the roster's utility player. LaRosa played a variety of positions at UCLA and ranks second in career home runs at UCLA behind Newman. She's sixth in batting average, fifth in runs scored, and second in slugging. This is another big bat on this all-time roster. Let's move on to the outfield where there were, of course, some more tough choices. Here's a recent one, Bubba Nichols, who we just saw take home the 2019 Women's College World Series title. Alexis Bennett was a strong outfield option with a really high batting average, but I went with Nichols who can hit for power as well. She led the Bruins last season with 18 home runs, 72 RBIs, a 714 slugging percentage, and the star will play for the U.S. Olympic team this year. Our next outfielder is one of the four Bruins to have her number retired, and rightfully so. Gina Vecchioni helped UCLA to the first ever NCAA championship in her senior 1982 season and was named to the All-Women's College World Series team. Our third outfielder is Yvonne Gutierrez, who won three national titles during her time and earned first-team All-American honors in each of her final three seasons. Those accolades alone were enough to get her inducted into the UCLA Athletics Hall of Fame, but she also ranked in the top 10 in six statistical categories. Lastly, what you've all been waiting for, pitchers. This category was nearly impossible to narrow down to two, but I think we've got two names on this list that you won't be upset about. Let's start with perhaps the best UCLA player of all time, maybe ever, Lisa Fernandez. Listen up to this part. Fernandez was a four-time first-team All-American, four-time All-College World Series team. She won the Honda Award for best player in softball three times and then became the first softball player ever to win the prestigious Honda Broderick Cup in 1993. She also still tops the UCLA all-time shutouts list. 
two national championships, and three Olympic gold medals later, the legend became the first player to have her number, retired at UCLA, and is enshrined in the UCLA Hall of Fame. Our last but not least pitcher on this all-time UCLA roster is the one and only Rachel Garcia. You can't say enough about her either. She also took home the Honda Broderick Cup for Collegiate Female Athlete of the Year last season, the USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year, and NFCA National Pitcher of the Year. Get ready to see Garcia as well in the Olympics this season. That wraps it up, guys, and what an unbelievable program. Who would be on your UCLA all-time roster? Keep up with all things UCLA softball this season on NCAA.com and NCAA Softball Social.